Mrs mm. Diana Gould in our Bristol studio. Mm. Mrs Gould, your question, please. Uh, Mrs Thatcher, why, when the uh, Belgrano, the Argentinian mm. battleship, was outside the exclusion zone and actually sailing away from the Falklands, uh, why did you give the orders to sink it? But it was not sailing away from the Falklands. It was in an area which was a danger to our ships and to our people on them. Outside it, the exclusion zone. Uh, but it was in an area which we had warned at the end of April, we had given warnings that all ships in those areas, if they represented a danger to our ships, were vulnerable. When it was sunk, that ship which we had found was a danger to our ships. My duty was to look after our troops, our ships, our navy. And my goodness me, I live with many, many anxious days uh, and Francisco. nights. Mrs Thatcher, you started your answer by saying it was not sailing away from the Falklands. It was on a bearing of 280 and it was already west of the Falklands. So I'm sorry, but I cannot see how you can say it was not sailing when away from the Falklands. Was, when it was sunk. When it was sunk. It was a danger to our ship. No, ships. but you have just said at the beginning of your answer that it was not sailing away from the Falklands. And I am asking you to correct yes, that statement. But it's within an area outside the exclusion zone, which I think what you are saying is sailing away. I think no, it's which not, about Mrs. Which way it was which facing was at the time. I danger am, to our ships. Mrs Thatcher, I am saying that it was on a bearing 280, which is a bearing just north of west. It was already west of the Falklands, and therefore nobody with any imagination can put it sailing other than away from the Falklands. Mrs... I'm sorry, I forgot your name. Mrs Gould. Mrs Gould. Um, when you know, the orders were given to sink it, and when it was sunk, it was in an area which was a danger yes. to <clears throat> our ships. Well, now, you accept <clears throat> that, do you? Uh, no, well, I don't. I'm sorry, it was, and you, um, must, you must accept no, that Mrs. when Thatcher. we gave the order, when we changed the, ex the, the rules which enabled them to sink Belgrano, the change of rules had been notified at the end of April. It was all published that any ships that were a danger to ours within a certain zone, wider than the Falklands, were likely to be sunk. And again, I do say to you, my duty, and I'm very proud that we put it this way and adhered to it, was to protect the lives of the people in our ships and the enormous numbers of troops that we had down there waiting for landings. I put that duty first. Mrs. And when but, the Belgrano uh, was Ms. sunk, when the Belgrano was sunk, and I ask you to accept this, she was in a position which was a danger to our Navy. Mrs. Gould, let me, let me ask you this, Mrs. Gould. What, what motive are you seeking to attach to Mrs. Thatcher and her government in this? Is it inefficiency, lack of communication, or well, is it a desire for action, a desire for It war? is a desire for action and a lack of communications because on giving those orders to sink the Belgrano when it was actually sailing away from our fleet and away from the Falklands was in effect sabotaging any possibility of any peace plan succeeding and Mrs. Thatcher had 14 hours in which to consider the Peruvian peace plan that was being put forward to her, in which those 14 hours, those orders could have been rescinded. Right, Mrs. Thatcher. One day, all of the facts in about 30 years' time will be published. That I is not the good enough, Mrs. Thatcher. I am we just... Mrs. Gould, let, you let please Mrs. Thatcher answer. Let me I think answer. You've, you've put a fair point. Would you please let me answer? I lived with the responsibility for a very long time. I answered the question, giving the facts, not anyone's opinions, but the facts. Those Peruvian peace proposals, which were only in outline, did not reach London until after the attack on the Belgrano. That is fact. Uh, I'm sorry, that is fact, and I am going to finish. Did not reach London until after the attack on the Belgrano. Moreover, we went on negotiating for another fortnight after that attack. I think it could only be in Britain that a prime minister was accused of sinking an enemy ship that was a danger to our navy when my main motive 
was to protect the boys in our Navy. That was my main motive, um, and I'm very proud of it. Mrs. Gould, One you... day, all the facts will be revealed, and they will indicate, as I have said. Mrs. Gould, have you got a new point to make? Otherwise, well, I must move just on. Just one point. Um, I understood that the Peruvian peace plans on a na uh, nationwide program were uh, discussed on the midnight May the 1st. If the, uh, that outline did not reach London, for another well, 14 Thatcher hours, it didn't. Um, I think there must be something very seriously wrong with our communications, and we are living in a nuclear age when we're going to have minutes to make decisions, not uh, hours. Let's I move have on. indicated what the facts are, let's and would you accept that I am in a position to know exactly when they reached London, let's exactly move. when the attack was made, but I repeat, the job of the Prime Minister is to protect the lives of our boys on our ships. Let's move on, on to uh, discuss that, that's what I that did. nuclear age, Mrs Thatcher, if we can, because we've got a lot of questions on defence, as you might imagine. Let's